Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel for another CA850 video. So today we're going to take a look at the newly released Hornby Class 66 and being a Colas fan I've decided to get the Colas livery one. So this one is 66847 and it is R3787 Colas Coco Class 66-64-66847 So as you may well know from the recent trouble in Model Railway land or miniature land it was done by BBC with James May that this was the 66 that panicked Hattons and Simon Kohler quite clearly said that actually this is the cater for the lower market. I can't compare the Hattons one yet because it's not out. I've seen it and it looks good and I will be getting one in Colas livery. But I do have the Backman Colas Class 66. So I can compare the two. But we know that this is the the bottom of the range market. Now Hornby, I completely get it. I get it with Hornby and what they have done. They have gone for the market where people can't afford. People on the lower budget. And the way to look at it, children or kids that go to the railway might see a Colas 66 or a GBRF 66 or in large logo or evening star the, the 413 and the new freightliner livery they will want that loco but the parents are going to think whoa we can't afford that but they can get one for 60 odd quid you're laughing so we're going to have a look we, we could do a quick compare and contrast for this i have started to upgrade it so i will over the summer when um thunder a bit more better will upgrade the lighting. Um, Rail Express or DCC Express, something like that, does lighting. But I am going to be using a Hornby sound decoder, um, class 66, number. Ooh, focus. R8121. TTS Sound Decoder Class 66. So that's what I will be using. So what I'll do now, I'll unbox it, then we will start the sort of, I don't know, review, comparison. So that's standard Hornby packaging. I'm going to be a bit naughty that way because I need oh, the 59 stroke 66 manual, <laughs> the, the instructions. Um, Horn, we are also bringing out um, 59003 in GBRF livery. And yes, I will be getting that. I don't care that it's a cheap model. I just like the livery and it'll go nice on my GBRF collection. So here's the instructions. Um, standard running hints, etc, etc. To get the body off is a simple fingers under each side. DCC ready. Um... A bit of, oh, a bit of detailing. Oh, I might have a go at that. Try and look it good. Pre-fitted. Ooh. Yeah. And important, etc., etc. Safety no spare parts. Cool. Let's um have a look. It's quite light actually compared to the Batman one that I've just got out of the cabinet. All right, so I'm gonna need. The accessory pack. Okay, that looks quite self-explanatory, self-easy. Let's take that off, get rid of that. Okay. So I've actually not seen one of these, one of these Hornby cheapos. We call it cheaper. No, that's an insult. I've not seen one of these Hornby 66s. Um, first impression is the I mean, delivery looks alright. I mean it's the same paint they would have used for for the 67. Um, 
let's start yeah so here we have the front this is really struggling let's bring does that make any better no so it don't have any lighting got pre-molded lights still got bars in there handle bars they seem okay again no light good grill details down the side Come on, focus, focus. The application of the liveries done well. Buffers aren't sprung. Um, hey ho. Um, we can detail the end up in a minute. Sorry about that. Sneezing. Um, yeah, the general application livery don't look that bad. In comparison, I'm looking across, I will show you in a minute. I mean, there's not the rivets on the thing, I've got my fingerprint on there. The roof detail, again, is is quite good. I'll tell you what, let's oh, just put that there. And then let's bring this one in. Ah. Let's see, comparison wise. We got. There are slight differences in detailing. I mean, with the Backman one, this is 846. I mean, with the box there, you've got transfers on I reckon there might be a chance to get stuff like this done I see a challenge here and I think I will take this challenge the roof grill this one bearing in mind is the Backman so yeah slight slight improvement on the, the Backman one let's come down to the the grill, the roof grills. I I do like the back, the Backman one, but again the Hornby one actually is not too bad. So so far my my view is it's not half bad actually for what for the money you're getting it is the front. Could be sorted out the lighting put a lighting kit on i think i think you're pretty much there it's not it's not too bad and i'm i'm honestly doing this from the for the first time looking at it i'm i'm actually quietly impressed i'm gonna yeah I, i'm gonna stick up for hornby here this is actually I'm 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 actually quite gobsmacked. Yeah, some of the grills aren't perfect, but the application and, and stuff of the livery is it's actually really good. I'm yeah, I'm I'm pleased. I'm pleased I've got this. I I I'm sorry this is probably gonna be really rubbish, but I've been slating Hornby about how rubbish their 66s looked but in comparison to the Backman one for the value of money it's worth it so let's next thing I'm going to get the get the top off and we'll, we'll get this sound chip in and then we'll, we'll get it on the layout we'll put the detailing on and we've got a 66 I'm I think I'm gonna just have a quick break to get myself over this. This is I'm really I'm yeah. I'll be back in a minute when we got the top off. So welcome back. I've got the top off. It came off relatively easy. Um Yeah, I'm just still impressed with about this at the moment. Anyway, so it's an eight pin decoder. So we'll get that out. 
Please, children, don't copy me. It's how you break things. Um, if anyone wants any spare blanking plates, give us a go. I've got enough to blank the world. Right, so I've only ever fitted one Hornby. I haven't fitted any Hornby ones yet. Oh. Right, so. Let's see, this is all a first for me as well. Right, what we get? We've got... Uh, important decoded limited warranty. Before you start, please read blah blah blah. Process of fit fitting to decoder. Please note, local must not draw more than 50 amps. Any class files are released after the initial TT37 will be designed to accommodate a TTS decoder. Hornby Live Steam, Hornby non-TTS. Yep, that's nice. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, manual. Everyone likes a manual. The only thing we need out of here is the sound function list. Just there, open up, there. Right, so you get a speaker. I haven't got a clue where I'm putting it in there. I've got some blue tack somewhere to stick it down. I'm just going to be lazy. And the chip itself. So, right. Let's get this out. Right, so here we have, obviously, a speaker. I mean, the chip itself. I will confess I am not a sound fitting person. I've never done it in my life. I've done it to one of my 73s. I know this will probably be wrong and will probably annoy people, but I'm I'm new to sound. I'm I'm still 50-50 about it. I've got some sound locos, 50-50. So quite simple. That bit then goes in there. And then I will secure that in there. I will Secure that down a lot more better, better, better than what it is. Um, I will then put it on a track. We will then test it, and we will take it from there. So welcome to the track. Um, so it's now chipped up. It's now got the sound chip in. Um, it's been secured down with good old blue tack. The Habatman one, um, I just realised, was a Sound 66 as well. So that could be another video coming up about comparing the sounds on the two locos. But we're not worried about that one now. That one's just going to be parked on the side and we're worried about this Hornby one. Um, obviously you would have seen Richard's live YouTube video from New Junction and he goes into the whole fleet. So let's basically start off. My controller don't go as many as the does here, but we will now test some of the sounds. So one would switch the engine start it on. Two is horn high to low. And then three is horn low to high. Four will be a brake squeal. Five is notch up. Six is notch down. Seven returns to idle, so five notch up. Six notch down. And eight is fresh. Don't sound bad. Turn that off. Nine will be a cold start override. 
10 is a compressor which just comes on as and required. 11 is cab door slamming. And that's shut. God, oh, blimey. 12, Spirex valve. 13 is brake release. 14 is brake application. And my last one is 15, primer and alarm. Mm. Got it, should have used that one to start off with, but anyway. So that really does just sort of conclude this Hornby Class 66. And again, I just have to say, I'm overly impressed with it. And for, for the money, it's well worth it. It is well worth it. Yes, Batman wants good detail. But for what it is, you, you can't get any better than this. So hats off to Hornby. I owe them an apology because I did nothing but um, take the mick out of this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to end the, end the video here. Uh, the next video will be a Colas running session um, with most of my Colas fleet. We will have a bit of fun and that will be soon. So that you will see both the 66 is running with the sound on. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment what you think about the loco and subscribe. So I'm going to send this off to Bishop's Warven and I will leave you to it till next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.